There are so many diets out there right now. All of us are having trouble making sense of what to eat or what not to eat. Let's start with one of the biggest trends that I've seen over the last year or so, the keto diet. The entire premise of the keto diet is to increase your consumption of fats, really with the intent of pushing that insulin level down and helping you to shed fat. Many people over the years, because of stress or consumption or lack of exercise, whatever the reasons are, start to accumulate fat around their waist, around their hips, around their back. Those are all signs of you being in storage mode where our body is just holding onto fat, doesn't wanna let it go. Well, the keto diet seemed in research to show that it can help the body shed that excess fat, help get rid of it, because it brings that carbohydrate load down so low that you go into ketosis where you're breaking your own fat down as fuel, and that in turn helps you to lose weight. So here's where I land with keto. I believe in lowering your carbohydrates to lose weight and really to beat insulin resistance. Absolutely, that's helpful, that's important, but I don't believe in increasing your consumption of saturated fats, bad fats, all of these fats that then in turn drive things up like your cholesterol and your triglyceride levels and really impact your gut health. Don't forget I post new videos every Thursday. Hit subscribe. So here are my two cents on keto. What do you do with keto? You cycle keto. You can bring keto in for a couple of weeks, but after about three weeks, maybe four weeks at the most, you really need to get off keto, start to increase that carbohydrate load, get the fiber in, get your protein in, because the body is not meant to be on a keto diet indefinitely. So that's what I think about keto. But another diet that many of you guys are talking about and jumping into is intermittent fasting. I actually love the idea, right? You're limited to a window of eating. It's not a free for all. You can't eat all day long. And we know that that in itself will increase the amount of calories you're getting in at any moment. Intermittent fasting will set an interval, maybe a 14 hour sort of fasting interval or a 16 hour fasting interval. And in extreme cases, there are people that fast for an entire day. Now, I'm not a big fan of that. I like maybe the 14 or the 16, and what does that break down to? It means that you may fast from 8 p.m. to maybe 12 noon. That's about a 16-hour fast, and you eat from about 12 to 8. So you're only eating a few times in that 12 to 8 window, right? So it does bring caloric load down, and it works. I've had so many patients that have lost weight doing intermittent fasting. All right, that's keto. Intermittent fasting, you guys ready for one more? Let's talk about the flexitarian diet. Now the flexitarian diet is interesting. This one's doable. So this is one where you sort of, you know, flex between different diet patterns, right? You might be a vegetarian Monday through Friday, but you might actually eat some meat or fish Saturday and Sunday. It actually makes sense to really go on some sort of rhythm of switching up your diet every now and then. And that is honestly how the body works best. We're not really meant to eat the same exact meals every single day, the same exact foods every single day. That also lowers your metabolic rate. So when we don't vary our foods or change up what we're doing we're not changing gut bacteria we're not getting a full nutritional profile because every food has pros and cons and great nutrients and all that other stuff so we want to vary it we want to switch it up we want to change things so that we introduce to the body some different nutrients different good bacteria and that keeps our metabolism humming now we can bring in keto from time to time we can bring in intermittent fasting from time to time but an anti-inflammatory Mediterranean diet that gets those healthy fats in, that gets tons of those high antioxidant foods in that feed our skin and our hair and our bones and so much more, that's really the way to go.